Have you ever felt that the creatures in Ark are too normal? Have you ever thought to yourself, what would happen if you bred like a whole bunch of them together instead of just keeping them the same gender? Or maybe you just really, really wanted some very cursed creatures to be in your Ark. Well then, I have the mod for you. Guys, today we are checking out SIDS hybrids and oh my god, these creatures are cursed. Like... This, this mod is all about different hybrid creatures. Like over here, this is a, I think it's a Fio. No, this is a Rhino cross a Triceratops. So you get a, a Rhinoceratops. <laughs> oh, the, the, this mod is so damn cursed. Like all the creatures in this mod are all about like, what would happen if you just took two dinosaurs and bred them together? And there are actually so many creatures in this mod. There, there's at least 50. Like, I think I've got a nice little stockpile here in the refrigerator. You can see here, just got a whole range of them. And we'll be checking out some of them today, you know, like, let's go. This is a thorny dragon cross a shark. It is a scarecrow. Okay, maybe I had to be in water for that one. So you know what? We can just go ahead and get ourselves another one. We want this. We want a... Megalodon cross thorny dragon. Maybe we have to go into the water for this one. That, that is a possibility. Some of these are water creatures. And... <laughs> oh my gosh, it's... <laughs> it's if a Megalodon had a bad hair day, you know? Like, let's go. Let's, let's make a Megalodon saddle. Let's... <laughs> I love it. Like, so we... This is obviously Megalodon. Oh, it can, like, shoot spikes from, like, the... Like if it was a thorny dragon, you know, it can just come and like shoot spikes. It, it obviously looks like a megalodon, but you can see it's like, it's all about like the cursed creatures pretty much. So there, there's a, it's a skekkrar, or however you say it. Some of the other creatures I've already gone ahead and spawned in so far. We've got a Chalicotherium <laughs> crossed with a Megalosaurus over here. And this guy, this guy's actually one of the coolest looking ones I've seen so far. So, we can come over here and we can just like throw a huge stone, which does make you lag quite a bit. But you know, for a stone that does that much damage, that, that's actually insane. Like, look at this huge ass stone, you just like launch at things, it's actually quite fun. And we can obviously like come and left click, it's got a C attack to like, hit with your like, half bite, half antlers, whatever, I, I, I don't even know. Like, what is this mod? This is really just... It is all the cursed creatures. Oh, if you've ever, you know how you've always got like this amazing combination of Fiomias and dung beetles, like the Fiomias poop, and then you use the dung beetles to turn it into uh, fertilizer. Well, they had a baby. <laughs> now we got a Fiomia cross dung beetle, and <laughs> it's so stupid looking. Like it's this giant dung beetle with the sounds of a Fiomia, and it can throw poop at things. Like, look at that, it just like throws a whole bunch of poop at all the different dinosaurs. <laughs> it's actually quite funny. We've also got ourselves, this is a Spino cross Deinonychus. So this is actually also a pretty cool looking one. It's unfortunate about the saddle. So it's got like obviously all the, the main look of a Spino. When it runs, it goes straight into like lower form and it right click is just this flat out like goes on two feet automatically and then left click is bite right but obviously right click yeah got a nice oh you can harvest berries oh, i didn't know that oh, i never figured that out while i was testing it but yeah like <laughs> some of these creatures are just so funny this is a i, I don't even know what the creature is called it's it's one of those little things you find in the wild and it's across the sarco i think it's a diplocalus or Something like that. <laughs> just looks pretty stupid. Like it's so stupid looking. Like if you look ran into this in the wild, you'd be so mad if you died to it. Just cause look at it. It looks so hard. <laughs> it's a great creature, but I'm saying the look of it, like just like this is so cursed. Wow. <laughs> I, I feel like the guy who came up with this idea, Sid or whatever the developer's name is. I'm sorry, I can't quite remember it. But yeah, he he. He needs some help, man. Like, seriously. This guy's come in and he's just like, doesn't know. Like, 
he, he needs to go see a therapist or something, because he, he's got some cursed creatures over here. Oh, and don't forget this little guy. <laughs> it's itchy, itchy orders cross with the little Jerboa. You can go ahead and you can pet it. Oh, and it like rolls around. That's cool. <laughs> nice. And you can like pick it up and it sits on your shoulder. It, it can't fly, unfortunately. <laughs> it's just, it's such a, a cute little thing. Like, but oh my God, that face is so cursed. Because like the hair sort of like doesn't fit. The fur or feathers or whatever i don't even know i think it's fur doesn't fit properly so it just like bounces around while the face stays static it, oh, whatever let's go ahead let's check out some of these other creatures together just just get some first impression what oh got an argentavis cross tapajara okay let's go what, what is this i'm scared oh my word <gasps> that, that looks so weird what Okay, I, I'm going to need a saddle for this. So let's just make ourselves an Argent, Argy saddle. You know, there we go. And we can go ahead and equip your saddle. Nice. And, yeah. Oh my word. That, that, that actually looks pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. So it's an Argy that can fly like a tappy. That's, that's actually pretty cool. I, I like that. That's a nice addition, you know. You can, Glad around like we oh and nope it can't swoop oh that, that that's pretty cool i actually like that one that's a nice combo you know like combining the powers of two different flies together what what else can i check it Ooh, oh an anki cross uteranus Rex. where are you oh my word it's a furry anki it is literally a furry anki and oh my gosh your teeth but you, you, you gotta go see a dentist or something. Because your teeth are just out of the sort. It is literally, this is pretty much just an Anki that's furry, you know? Like, can we go ahead and make ourselves an Anki saddle quick? I, I wanna see this. Oh, oh. Uh, let's go ahead. Oh, there we go. I uh, pushed the wrong button. Nice. Can you do the roll? Can, can you roll? Is that a thing? Can, can I do like a C attack? You, you like do a massive swing and you've got a left click for bite you know like x extension control no it, it does a funny little roar I, I don't quite know what type of roar that's supposed to be but it, it's not much of one but you know what while we're checking out the anki i saw there are multiple different anki combinations so let's check out all of these guys and then we can like compare like you can check out the similarities when it's all one all combined with one creature so we got ourselves another anki type creature over there oh oh this one's huge what oh that's epic that looks really cool what is this A, what what is that anki cross with so we got an anki cross ut so that's a furry one We've got a dimetrodon cross dialo cross anki okay We've got an Anki cross carbon emus. So this is Anki. Oh, I see the Dilo now. Okay. Nice. Hey, I mean, that's. Oh, this is going to be like a tanky Anki. Hey, oh, I feel like I got to name you just. I got to name you just, just because. <laughs> Let's go. Tanky Anki. Even though I'll never see you again after today. Unless I go and like do a series with this mod, you know. And no. Okay, so you don't want a carbon emus saddle. You obviously then want another Anki saddle, so the saddles are specific. You can't just use either of the two, um, what you call it, either of the two, uh, how can you call it, like, parents? Two parents? Oh, I suppose they are parents, hey. Two parents of the dino, you can't just use either of their saddles. It's obviously very specific of which one you can use, but damn, this guy actually looks awesome as well. I can't imagine this guy would be a beast. I mean, he's got armor, he's an Anki, he can harvest stone. And <laughs> this song just makes me laugh. It's so huge. Like, what? Okay, I, I, I have to know. What what else is in? So it's Dimetrodon, Anki, and Dalo. So I'm guessing you go use an Anki saddle. Oh, wait, you don't need any saddle. Oh. <laughs> it's so big and so slow. No. Oh wow, that, that's a huge swing. 
This guy's actually insanely long. And yep, he gathers stone. No, you want metal or flint, whatever you want to call it. Got to right click, a left click. We have a C. Can we spit? Oh, we can spit. That's cool. Nice. Hey, we. <laughs> oh, these these creatures are cursed. I'm telling you guys, this is this is some mad scientist stuff over here. <gasps> Arena across Mesopithecus. Oh, that's cool. Let's check out. Are there any other stuff with mesos or arenios? But arenia across Argentina. So let's check out these two, and then I think I think that's going to be it because these creatures are literally just cursed. You know, we've got the arena. <laughs> This would be horrifying in the wild. Seriously, it. Oh my gosh. Okay, what what what's this one? What's this one? It's huge. It, ooh. <laughs> this is the most cursed one I've seen. What? It's a giant bloodstalker, Mesopithecus. Oh my gosh. That looks insane. I like. I like want a, a skeleton bloodstalker now. I think that would look awesome. But oh my gosh, this is going to give me nightmares. I am not going to be able to sleep well tonight. Because damn. So this is the Rainio cross, cross Mesopithecus. But it's obviously a bloodstalker. Like, if you can't tell, this is a bloodstalker. Can, can I like do the webs? Oh no, I can do, can do those types of webs. I was hoping I could do like the bloodstalker bloodstalker uh like web shoot oh we can do spider sense okay nice <laughs> I, I have to see more i have to see more i'm addicted to checking these things out now let's check out what type of rhinos do we get so we got daydon cross mammoth cross rhino oh th this one's gonna be big i can just tell this is gonna be a big creature and oh my word <gasps> That's cool. <laughs> Look at it. Look at its tusks. Damn. Yo, you would not want to run into that guy and have him like come and charge you. That would actually be insane. So there's. Oh wait, no, we already had one of those. Oh, don't chill, bro. Please, please. We we had one of those. He's over here. The rhinoceratops. I don't know why I have two. Oh well. I maybe accidentally crafted two and two, two of these things. So the way this mod works is you have to go ahead and you have to go collect this DNA. And I can't remember where you craft the DNA. I think you just craft it in your inventory, you know. So let's scroll down and see if we can find some of these guys. Where's it crafted? Cloning machine. Okay, so you need a cloning machine. So there we go. So we can go ahead. And yeah, this cloning machine serves a whole role in creating hybrids. Okay. So everything's pretty much based around making this cloning machine. And then you can go ahead and you can make these cursed creatures. They seem to always be spawning at about level 1, pretty much. <laughs> okay, you can also then go away, go and make like purified essence. So you got to go ahead and like, you work your way up pretty much. So you can see there's like a whole bunch of tiers from, there's one, yeah, four, five, six. S tier, what, what's the S tier herbivore? Chalicotherium cross Megaloceros. Okay, we'll check that one out. To S tier carnivore. Scorpion cross Therizina cross beach. I I have to see this. I I have to see this. There we go. We've crafted it is big. Holy this thing is huge. What? That's <laughs> that thing's huge. Okay, it, it uses a theory saddle, I think. Let's go ahead and let's make a theory saddle. I don't even know what. How do you know like what saddles these things use? So it, it's what is everything? Scorpion? Okay, let's try scorpion. No, may, maybe it's a scorpion saddle. Is it? No. What else is it? Therizino? Like, oh no, that's a Megatherium saddle, not Therizino. Uh, can I just like make one of these? Is that it? There we go. Okay. So you can always tell like what sort of saddle it's going to use. And oh my gosh, this thing looks incredible. It's a leech head, scorpion tailed, and Therizino body. Can I like use my t scorpion tail? Oh, what, what is that? That that's cool. Can I? Do I have any other attacks? No. 
Oh, oh, oh I want to see more. I want to use my, my spinza, you know. And, oh, that, that's cool. Okay, I have to check out these other S tier dinos. This is... Oh, that is too cool. Uh, wait, where's my cloning machine? What's the other S tier dino? What's the other S tier? So, type S carnivore. The Giga. Let's check out the Giga. Nice. Okay, let's just make a saddle while we at it. How big is this guy? Oh my god! That thing is huge. <gasps> what? Oh, I thought that was its head. What? It's a Giga across the Spino. Oh, that is terrifying. Okay, this is this thing is. Let me let me free. I'm I'm stuck. Okay, it's very slow. It it is extremely slow. It's got a right click. Oh, this is insane. It just like destroys everything around it. Where where's something I can fight? How much health does this thing have? Twenty six thousand. Okay. Nice. I would like to see how much damage it does. Can I like hit something? Hit anything at all? Nine hundred. Boom. This thing is awesome. Oh, I love this. Can I hit that? Ah, I missed. Do I have any other attacks? I got a C attack. Okay. So that that's a cool attack. So you like step forward, like put your foot down and like slap around with your tail. Nice. Okay, awesome. Oh, okay. Did we check out the S tier herbivore? Herbivore. Herbivore. <laughs> I'm sorry. The whole words are difficult sometimes. So let, let's check out the S tier herbivore. So type S and we want the herbivore. So I think this is the one I checked out. So Megaloceros. Pretty sure I've checked this out before. Is this the one? Uh, I think this might be this guy. That uh, this uh, Super Ethereum or whatever it's called. So may maybe I haven't. Maybe I've already checked them out. Nope, I definitely haven't. Oh, no, I have. It is. Okay, I had. Okay, that's fine. So, this is the S tier herbivore. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And you know what? L let's check out some of the weaker guys. Oh, wait, no, there, there was a top S tier aquatic one as well. Basilisk cross... I'm sorry, guys. This is... If you guys have not been sold by this mod already, th this has got to be it. So, let's just get, it, get deeper into the water, because I have a feeling this thing's going to be big. Can, can I, like, use a chair? I can. Levi Leviathan Constrictor. Oh my god, this thing is huge. Uh, Basilisk. We need a Bassy saddle. And Basilisk. There we go. Where is my Leviathan Constrictor? There you are. There you are, big guy. Let's, let's check you out. Oh wait, no, we don't need a saddle for you. <laughs> Oh, this thing is huge. Can I like, can I go out the water? Is that a thing? No, I can't. Oh, this guy looks amazing. <gasps> that is cool. I love that attack. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. that those animations are actually pretty good. You know, like, that's actually really good animation. Oh, it's got, it gives us a buff as well. Okay, so it looks like we've got a 20 second cooldown before we can use that ability again. 17,000 health. Not some nice melee damage. I, I want to see that buff again. It's actually pretty slow. Which is a little, would be a little bit of an issue, but you know what? That, that's fine. I don't, I don't mind being a bit slow. We can check out this ability in 3, 2, 1. Is it going to work? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that's cool. And that gives us Seeking, plus 100% damage bonus. That's pretty cool. Come, come here, Itchy. I want to kill you. 2,000! Damn. So, this is definitely, like, a modded playthrough type mod. You, you, you don't want to have this mod on your vanilla series. <laughs> Stuff might just be a little bit OP. Like, it's def this is definitely not balanced for vanilla. Because that's a level 3. Yeah, like all these creatures, as as cool as they look, these these are not balanced for vanilla. Maybe I'm um, trying to think what mods would go well with this. Like if you had like the additional creatures mod, it would be pretty cool. But it, it doesn't seem to be any boss creatures of this, unless there's maybe like a oh operations operation exit. 
Operation Urban Fear. That sounds cool. Operation. Let's check out both of these operations. Because that's actually a tier that I didn't even know was a tier. It was like there. Oh. Giga love love love. What? How do you say Giga. Giga plolo fossora. Sure. Wanna. Oh, that's an author plural across, across Giga. <laughs> that's cool. Oh, and it can do like a raw buff plus 60% damage resistance. Okay. Nice. So that's Operation Urban Fear, I think. And what's Operation? Oh, I know. This is Operation Urban Fear. That was Operation Evo. Ultra Exovenator. However you want to say that. You need a saddle. Can I give you my Giga saddle? I can. Nice. And oh, okay. Oh, let's let's actually compare you to like the the the, the Giga trike. Huh? Slight, slightly bigger. And yeah, th this is pure Giga. Ooh. The ult has ability to control its Giga cousin rage. That's giving it a slight damage boost and removing all buffs attack. That's cool. Oh, and it like gives you this weird effect. Okay. Nice. The oh well. Guys, I think if that's not a way to end off this mod, I'm not going to go ahead and show you everything. You guys can go check it out yourselves. I don't want to ruin everything. And yeah, guys, if you have enjoyed this, I hope you have a fantastic day. Even if you haven't enjoyed this, I hope you just like enjoy the rest of your day. Hope you all, and yeah, keep safe. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye. Bye.